First up on Fox College Sports, it's going to be 55 kilos. That's 121 pounds in the women's category. We got Helen Maroulis in the red singlet from Rockville, Maryland. And Kelsey Campbell in the blue singlet from Colorado Springs, representing the Sunkiss Kids. We are underway. Again, Helen Maroulis from Rockville, Maryland, representing the New York Athletic Club. She's the number one seed in this weight class. Interestingly enough, Van, she started her, actually finished her high school career up at Marquette, wrestling for the USOEC in Northern Michigan. Then uh, spent a year at Missouri Baptist as a college freshman. Now trains up in British Columbia with their freestyle team and their, their, their college women's team at Simon Fraser University. Travels a lot, as do most of our athletes here in this competition. Kelsey yep. Campbell, wow, light, nice low ankle. Is going to score a one-point takedown. Takes an early lead. Nice job by Kelsey Campbell. She moves into the leg and, as you say, picks up a one to nothing lead here in the early seconds, the first 50 seconds of the first period. And Jason, again, one point for the takedown. Olympic-style wrestling rules a little bit different than collegiate or interscholastic. Yeah, slightly different variations. The same moves, pretty much. You got low singles, low ankle sweep singles, all sorts of things. And one point for a takedown. Your, your exposures are one and two. You take your opponent to their back from their feet, and that's three-point danger, so that's three points. And of course, the uh, the big taco is the five-pointer, the high-arching uh, back souffle with high amplitude. We don't see too many of those in women's freestyle wrestling, but it can't happen. Nice arm drag for Helen Maroulis, and she's gonna tie it up, but effectively take the lead, because in a tie score in a period, the last score wins if all the scoring sequences are the same. Helen Maroulis in on the takedown, ties this up on the scoreboard at one to one, but by virtue of having scored the last activity point, she in fact is in the control position right now. As we come down to 15 seconds remaining in this, the first period. Yeah, we're gonna come back to our feet, so last 12 seconds of flurry as Kelsey Campbell's gonna have. Marulis, Marulis countering. Nice defense right now by Marulis. She's staying away from Campbell just a little bit as the final seconds here in the first period tick away. And by the score of one to one, and by virtue of having scored the last activity point, Helen Marulis wins the first period one to one. Yeah, scoring the last point is the tiebreaker if the sequences are similar. Now, if it was a 2-2 two -two period, and Campbell had a two-point move, and Maroulis had two one-point moves, the, two, the one two-point move would trump the two one-point moves. So the higher uh, higher sequence, a higher activity, is the tiebreaker in a case where the scores aren't the same. And again, if you're not familiar with Olympic-style wrestling, this is the best out of three periods. In fact, the score does not carry over to the second period. It's zero to zero as we get the second two-minute period underway. Now, if Campbell is victorious here, that would even out the periods at one apiece, and then we would be forced to wrestle the final third determining period to determine the national champion out of 55 kilos. It's 121 pounds. Oh, Campbell's got experience here in the tournament. She's won the Open the last two years. Granted, up a different weight, beating Deanna Ricks in those finals, who we'll see later tonight. But Maroulis, 19 years old, hasn't seen the senior level world experience as much as Campbell. Granted, she was on the world team in 08. Campbell was on the world team in 2010. But it, well, she doesn't see the experience. She's got it internationally in the room. But arguably, Jason, oh, oh nice, nice, nice move there. Very nice move by Helen Morello as she comes around to get the takedown and take the lead one to nothing as we approach the one minute mark here in the second stanza. Good snap and spin. Going to try to work the gut wrench and kind of work her parterre offense. Of course, parterre is a term we use for top and bottom offense. Well, it's wrestling on the mat. Again, yeah, mat wrestling, but you know, parterre is our terminology. The roots, the roots of wrestling on the international style are back in the Greco-Roman world. And as they've come through the modern era, they get that French touch. So the parterre is the word that we use for wrestling on the mat. Marul is trying to sweep single to the outside. Campbell, who is very adept at scoring in short offense in short situations. Uh, also very good at defending and scoring from the leg clinch. But right now, she's going to need to score in the last 30 seconds. And Maroulis, despite being only 19, uh, really good with defense and you know, has been performing at a high level for quite a long time, even despite being just 19. Well, she's got a great future ahead of her. And right now, she's got a national championship pretty much on the line. 12 seconds remaining. And a bad shot by Kelsey. It's going to get countered by Maroulis. Maroulis fights her off. 
now and there's. Morales gets the takedown with three seconds remaining to up the score to two to nothing. Time expires and Helen Marulis wins the second period two to nothing and wins this match two periods to none. You can take the age, but the experience is what counts it. Right now, Helen Marulis is the national champion at 55 kilo. That's 121 pounds. Well, now Helen's in a great position to make a second world team. World team trial, she's now the top dog. She's the one you're gonna have to beat at 55. And that's an Olympic weight, so that makes it even that much more tough.